I'll tell you something uh, right at your face, George. So next time, if we are uh, hiring anybody for Kuwait Bridge, the name is George T. Tell me about yourself, George. Uh, ജോസ്പ്രൈസ് uh and also uh, some uh, deep learning model and also i did project on ad framework and ad transformers and uh, i did my intern in a uh, uh, d2i ai lab so this is an ai based company and also i did an uh, uh, online internship in our tourism editor and also i did an uh, a pure statistical uh, intern in uh, icmr nit which is a uh, cheat but and uh, I also keep on uh, updating my AA trend uh, by uh, following these uh, K. Alamo and uh, Andrew and these papos and also some YouTube channels like uh, Fushma Meetings and uh, IBM and uh, also uh, use some uh, new updated uh, models from the Hacking Increase and uh, I think uh, uh, I'm learning uh, uh, more uh, to build a model uh, which is unreasonable. Yeah, since uh, we are using uh, a deep learning model, uh, which, some, uh, which sometimes we use some uh, black box with x So I think uh, uh, by using those uh, statistics, we can build an uh, interpretable model. Okay, so t- talk about uh, the recent project, what you're exactly working with and what are the tools that you're, uh, that you're using. Can you talk about uh, the project? Uh, you have mentioned about this RAG one, right? Symptom-based yes. disease prediction with RAG. So can you talk about that? Uh, it's, uh, I did it in my final year program, so I met a village. So if I was in one of the tourist based symptoms, uh, I do something exaggerated like uh, heavier symptoms, like for a uh, mild or something, it's like a uh, cancer or anything. So I plan to uh, build a, a model, uh, which uh, when I use the inputs of symptoms, it aims to predict the disease. Uh, so I use the uh, BioBird model. Uh, which are specifically trained on uh, the sort of biomedical terms. So with those biomedical models, uh, predicted disease. So when I use this input or symptoms, my model is to predict disease. And after that, I use the uh, RAG framework to uh, give those of precautions and uh, remedies for this disease. So if I use the uh, size index for a uh, uh, um, rectival path, and I use the uh, open source of GPT mode for the uh, A generation path. Okay, can you talk about what exactly the challenges you faced? I understand that you have successfully completed this for your college, college purposes. Uh, what are the challenges you faced while working on this project? So my uh, main challenge would be uh, uh, using the Google Colab. Sometimes it would uh, terminate because uh, it need a higher GPU, right? Mm-hmm. So after that, uh, I use the open source. So it hallucinates a lot. So if I use some open AI or anything, a paid ocean, I would be uh, minimizing the uh, uh, hallucination, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, how do you think the model is getting hallucinated? Can you explain with one scenario? So if I ask, uh, uh, if, I, if the user uh, gets the uh, disease and the uh, symptoms and reporting would be something irrelevant to the uh, subject. So, oh, yeah. so can you give an example how it was? How it showed irrelevant results to you? So, uh, when a user gets a story like this, it gives some uh, uh, questions and remedies like uh, it's irrelevant, like they will say about the boy uh, and uh, it will take some uh, Wikipedia API uh, answers like uh, anything that it's not irrelevant to them. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, Uh, can you talk about uh, what are the things or the divisions within this generative AI and uh, what are the things you know about it? So, uh, yeah, generative, uh, generative AI is like an AI which uh, the user input that. From that, I can be able to uh, produce the text or uh, images or uh, video. So, uh, 
I learned about uh, GA and GANs and uh, yeah, I think uh, GANs uh, and uh, VAE, variational auto encoders, like that. Got it, got it. All right, so can you also talk about uh, this GANs? If you say about GANs, how exactly this GANs architecture would work and uh, this VAG and everything? Have you studied about it? Uh, a little bit. It has an uh, uh, encoder and a decoder part. Mm -hmm. So when a user inputs an encoder, it enables to predict an uh, 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 output. Uh, so the decoder part will uh, minimize uh, how the state like mm -hmm. the Okay. I'll give you one scenario. Okay, so tell me what is your approach to solve this particular problem. Um, the client comes, he's a stock broker. Okay. And uh, who, who is a stock broker, um, he will be having, he's having almost 50 clients. Okay. And people will pay to him so that he will invest on the right stocks. So that person is called a stock broker. Now, this person has to rely on all the news and everything, like he has to read multiple informations, right? He can't put that money just randomly on different stocks. So, with AA, what is the step-by-step -step guidance that we can, because his pain factor is he can't go and read all those documents, whatever it is, put it on the internet. He wanted to make the decision at the end of the day and tell and take the money and put it on the right stocks. So, can you say how AA is going to be helpful for this particular client and uh, what is your approach here? Well, I guess I would use the advice from all the data, so I would uh, reduce it to strings and uh, I would keep that as a uh, retrieval path. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the RAG of framework is absolutely useful for uh, the uh, PDF and uh, company based uh, product rights. So, if, uh, if uh, specifically needed for this stock book, I would use those uh, data for the retrieval and he would uh, easily get the right things. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. How do you rate yourself on statistics? On a scale oh, of 1 to 10. Seven, 1 to 10. Uh, okay. So, can you tell me how, at what scenarios you would apply this chi square test and ANOVA test? Explain with one example or a business use case and then uh, you can uh, talk about this. So, uh, for the ANOVA, uh, it's like uh, when a company has uh, three advertisements. Mm -hmm. So, to find uh, which advertisement is uh, producing a major result. For those, I would use the ANOVA mm -hmm. by comparing uh, uh, comparing with those three uh, advertisements. Okay. For the uh, chi square, uh, it's like uh, two independent variables. So, I would compare whether the uh, the two independent variables are related or independent or not. Yeah. By using those uh, P value, I would compare. Okay. I'll tell you something uh, right at your face, George. You will be considered in our next interview. Okay. I like the way how you have explained. I like the way how you have articulated. You are so positive. You are so confident. And uh, the answers what you have given is to the mark and it is correct. Okay. All right. So, next time if we are hiring anybody for Provide a Bridge, you will be definitely considered. That is one. You can directly take from me. Second thing, I am going to refer you even in case if you are not having any opportunities inside to others. I have your resume. It is 200% ATS friendly. So, it is really good the way how you have uh, structured and everything. And um, so, you have worked as an intern, correct? Yes. So, have you got paid for your work so far yet? Well, no, it's an uh, unpaid, intern. unpaid intern. Okay. Would you be happy if you are hiring you? Yeah, yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, fine. I see that uh, your attitude is really good and uh, you are worth for hiring and referral. The main reason why I have uh, conducted this, uh, why I plan for this one on mentorship as I have already said, I wanted to give more opportunities, right? So, people, the real talents, they can study anywhere. But when they are coming here, they wanted to, you all wanted to show that enthusiasm and curiosity. I see that you, when you are explaining, you have loved the subject and that is how you studied it. It is very clear. Um, so, you are going to be a witness for many out there, whoever is seeing this video. Um, so, you are going to be a kind of inspiration. Okay. okay. So, once uh, if you are here or if you are getting a job anywhere outside, 
um, you can come back and we will i will take an another podcast with you you can share your journey how this exactly was done okay do you have any questions um, not right now but i have a thought that in for every hr okay <laughs> what is it they are calling me okay. and they are interviewing me and they are not just saying that you have rejected if they say rejected also i would have been happy sir okay and they are keeping with themselves and what they are doing i don't see you need to here understand you are thinking from your perspective right you need to understand from an organization perspective let's say tomorrow if you are a business owner everybody has to follow process even i as a ceo i have to abide the process i can't put some extra because it's an organization here 20 people are working under me and i am also supposed to follow the process i can't change once it is written so if i'm changing the process the company will never grow okay so why i am saying this according to the hr policies it is not required for them to give you a call and say that you are selected or rejected that is one of their policies okay and if you have really given the interview well and if there is immediate recruitment they will be immediately giving you a call and taking you in else uh, they will just if they find other resource they will just go ahead and as a candidate you shouldn't uh, be you know relying only on them you keep giving interviews until you are getting into a company but some companies they will have a hrs a recruiters in the level 1 because level 1 recruiters level 2 level 3 it's a kind of hierarchy they have this level one recruiters maybe they will try to give you a call and they will inform if they if they wanted to inform they will inform else it is not required so now let's not think emotionally from this side let's we need to understand the process okay this is how it is set and we need to go ahead with it all right so i understand even i also as a job applicant the same feeling i had <laughs> you know what i did <laughs> i wrote uh, 10 paragraphs because one company they selected me i have sent it to them scold me like left and right i scold them <laughs> i sent an email because they made me to wait for two months they said i am selected selected select okay give me i have to go there and earn money right so then later after because at that time i did not realize but after starting this company and a lot of commitments we have right so lot of project engagements and everything so if a hr is spending time uh, saying that i have to inform this candidate that he is not selected maybe management will question okay you can inform what is your other work have you completed this without completing this work if you are just simply giving a call what where is the productivity get him a point that management will question them so maybe hrs if they wanted to inform fine else not a problem for them they are getting my point right how exactly a big organization will work so that is why okay i realized after starting the company <laughs> okay if i would not started the company maybe i would be still in that particular impression itself now even if let's say if my com- if our company got closed and if i'm going for some other interview i am well aware this is how this companies will work i will not have any expectations but i have trust on my skills definitely i will be sold okay some because i am a product you are a product we are just going there and speaking about ourselves our achievement and everything and that's why they are also looking into that and hiring us correct so we have to sell ourselves to the best so we keep selling ourselves someone will buy that's it okay so oh, another question is uh, somewhere how to improve our uh, anything like any uh, if uh, new platforms are coming like a power bi tab so i have to update and updated myself some asking right yeah so what you need to do is let's say if you are if we are taking you in future and uh, if there is definitely i know that there are some concepts which you do not know okay yeah. and i also do not know my team also do not know but if this project requires will you be able to go quickly adapt to that particular technology come back and report us within one day that's what we see you need to be a learning machine Okay, remember this term: learning mission, and whatever we have learned. If we say this is the task, you have to com- complete and update us. You, you should do that. Or everybody who is watching, have, I have to do that. It's, we can't say that. Okay, I have studied only this. Uh, I can only complete this. No, you you will be fired. Or if you show that attitude, you won't be hired itself. You won't get hired itself. Okay, so that is very serious. It's not all about getting into a company. How you are able to sustain that particular job is also very important, right? So any other questions? Uh, dealing with the uh, AI evolution, 
So will the data analysis or anything will go down? Data analysis will go down. <laughs> data analysis, but I am also working on this, right? So data analysis is not, it won't go immediately. Maximum this data analysis work, it will stand for one, one year maximum. I am predicting my personal prediction. By end of this 2025 in India, coding and everything will be automated. And the next year, 2026, is all about agentic AI. I'm actually thinking that. If that's the case, what's the scope of data analysis? Everybody will know data analysis. And this, uh, AI agents will do data analysis. Mm -hmm. So now, what is the scope of humans? Humans need to predict this and accordingly quickly upskill, level up and save their career. If they're just simply postponing, okay, tomorrow I will study. Today I'm just, no. Tomorrow, if they keep postponing the things, it is not going to work. So they need to study the right technology. So that is why I am making particular, I am making, I have a goal and my connections and everything, whoever I am collaborating. I am telling them in case if I am hiring, I will be looking into their skills, their talents, not their past background. I don't care about whether they are freshers, whether they carry 11 years of career gap, non 80, 5 years, 6 years, no. I will have some kind of budget to give to this person. This is what my bandwidth. And you can't expect the same thing from a big corporates. When you are planning to make a career start or a career 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 gap to this, you need to compromise on something. If you are, if anybody is a working professional, they can make a career transition into a big companies. But when you are, whenever you are beginning a career, you need to find the right team so that you can get into a company, evolve yourself, learn the environment and everything, evolve yourself according to you know startups and everything. You will have a lot of things to learn. So that is what I am suggesting people to focus on this kind of companies and grow. And we as a company are also making some efforts. So tomorrow in case if you are coming in, you won't be only involved in only projects. I will give you another task. You need to reach out to this person, make some collaboration, go and talk and come back. Multiple departments will be engaged with. So if a person is willing to do that, fine. Right. So this is what it is. Anyway, I am uh, good with how you have given the answer. And I really appreciate your honesty in giving the answers and the confidence what you carried and the positivity what you carried. So that is what, beyond that, that's, a, that's what I always used to say. It's not only about technical skills. It's all about the, the attitude and everything, whatever you're carrying. That is also very important. So I liked it. Okay. Panjal, I'll, uh, our, we are expanding our team currently. All right. And um, our team will get back to you when there is the next opening. Okay. Very soon, maximum, I would say, in the next maximum within three months, we are planning to hire someone. You can also keep applying for jobs, all right? And in case if you all, if you get it, fine, you can go over there. Uh, else, within three months, our team is going to reach out to you. Okay? Thank and I'm also going to send uh, talk about you if any other resources within my connections required. For it, because that is also one side of business we are doing. We are outsourcing the real talents to the other people. So I'm also going to put you in that particular consideration list. Thank okay. You. All right, George. Good talking to you. See you soon. Okay. Have a nice day, Nalla pesir karala. So, ibara hire pannadu kunna na reason na illa me ibara da solita. Adu ungule ke convincing a arndu cha. Ila ibara trendi enna nalla niye vande learning take away slide idhirikinga abdi trendi kila comment section solanga. Ningle na mari yella one on one la vande attend panna nu mapri na. Daivasan cha attend panna. And prepada ibara mari prepada vanga. Adu kunna na link ke kila kudukra. In case niye structure a padi kinu nalla adu kunna na link na kila kudukra. You can just look into this. Definitely niye vande prapara padi kiringa. Na mari attitude la carry panna na. No matter whatever your background is, opportunities are immense in this particular AI world. So, whatever it is, update quickly before it is too late. Okay, wow. So, in the particular video and interview, put it in the channel or like put in the friends in the Maria interviews slash sharp and if they also wanted to take part in this one on one interview, you can only in the Google form killer care the Philpana solution. Are they married number channel? Do you subscribe on the immediate subscribe on the channel? Up to now, daily podcast videos, you can get notification on the serum. Are they bell icon? Click on the So, I'm a Nali code episode. La Pakla, other way. This is your echo, John. Let's make a simplified. See you all in the next episode. Bye. Cheers.